Hi girls, so today's video is going to be a review of all of my lip gels, um, polishes, conditioners, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm going to be comparing my MAC Tinted Lip Conditioner, L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balm, Astralis Lip Butter, Sleek Pout Polish, Topshop Polish, Inglot Lip Paint and lastly Sports Girl Lip Jam. So yes, I do kind of have an obsession with like lip products that come in a pot or a jar. But hopefully this review will be helpful for you girls because I've tried to include products that will possibly be available to everyone. Um, I've got stuff that I've purchased here in Australia, that I've purchased online, and that I've purchased overseas. Okay, so I'm going to start with my MAC Tinted Lip Conditioner. Um, that's the one I'm wearing at the moment. I'm going to be wearing each one when I'm talking about them. Okay, so firstly this one is um, $28 here in Australia, which is pretty ridiculous. So I have mine in Petting Pink and it's just like a really nice kind of natural looking light pink. Um, as you can see on the lips it's definitely very sheer, um, just a slight tint to the lips. They do have um, other colours of the tinted lip conditioners and I think some of them are maybe a bit more vibrant if you're looking for a bit more colour payoff. This product does have um, SPF and you're getting 15ml of product which is pretty good. It just, it doesn't really deal well with weather like I find that in the winter time the formula kind of hardens a little bit and it's just not that easy to put onto your lips so I kind of avoid it but then in the summertime it kind of melts which makes it a li little bit more glossy and liquidy and just a lot nicer to use but the problem is that you know this is a tinted lip conditioner it's meant to be moisturizing so obviously I'm going to be wanting to use it during the winter time when my lips are a bit more drier so yeah, I don't know, I just, I don't really find myself going to this product so much. I don't really have a problem with very dry lips, so I guess for me it's okay, but I think if you got, if you have very, very, like, chapped and dry lips, I just, I don't know if I would recommend this, I don't think it's that great. But on the other hand, it does get really good reviews on Makeup Alley, so I'd recommend reading some of those because maybe it's just something that doesn't work for me and it might work for you. Next is the L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balms, and I've got three. I've got um, this light pink one, which I think is called Plush or something like that. Um, I don't know, it didn't come with a label. Then I have Luscious, which is a really pretty kind of burgundy um, plummy colour. And then I have Savory, which is a peachy colour. I haven't opened this one yet though because... I don't want to open everything I have and then have them expire on me before I can use them up. So this one I'm saving. And um, so I have to say out of all my lip kind of products like this, these are definitely my favourites. Um, I just use them all the time. As you can see, like I haven't even had it for that long. I've used so much of this. I just carry it with me like in my purse everywhere. Um, I find them moisturising. They don't like dry up or go kind of gloopy on my lips. They're just really nice as the name suggests they're kind of like a, just a jelly kind of sticky but at the same time smooth texture and they're quite a bit more um pigmented like better color, color payoff than the um mac tinted lip conditioner i'm wearing the light pink one at the moment and it's a bit more shiny and a bit more glossy looking than the tinted lip conditioners and i got these oh these come with 4.5 grams of product so that is um, significant, significantly less than the MAC Tinted Lip Conditioner, but, but these were $10 for three, so compared to $28 for one, it's such a better deal, especially since I prefer these over the MAC Tinted Lip Conditioner. Um, these are discontinued, so you have to buy them online. I got mine from all cosmetic, allcosmeticswholesale.com, and I'll link it in the information box. Yeah, I would, just, I would totally recommend these. I love them so much. Okay, next up is the Astralis Lip Butter, and I'm wearing it at the moment. I've got mine in the colour Tall Poppy, which is the um, the hot pink. It doesn't say how much product you get on this container, though, so um, I've kept the box, though, so I'll just insert an annotation here and let you guys know how much um, product you're getting. So Astralis is an Australian brand, so it's only available in Australia and in New Zealand, I believe. And this one costs $8.95, but I got this when it was on sale at Target. They had $3 off Astralis, so I got it for $5.95. And I would definitely recommend just waiting until like Target, Priceline or Kmart, whatever has a sale, and then get it then because, well, it just works out better, obviously. Like I said, I'm wearing it at the moment, and it does have quite um, a good colour payoff. Maybe a little bit more compared to the... L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balm in that light pink colour. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just really like this. It smells nice. It's, what I love about this product is that inside the lid it comes with a mirror. It's quite moisturising, it lasts a decent amount of time. And yeah, I would definitely recommend it. And I was very pleasantly surprised, which is a really good thing because I love Australis. You know, I'm all for supporting Australian brands. 
and I'm just really happy that this is a good product. Next is the Sleek Pout Polish Tinted Lip Conditioner and as you can see it has a lot of colour payoff, um, much more pigmented than my MAC Tinted Lip Conditioner and this product has such good colour payoff that I actually do use a, um, a lip brush to apply it. I've got mine in the colour 960 Scandal and so this is just a really pretty glossy red colour. I bought this when I was in London a month ago, you can get it in Superdrug, um, Boots. I can't remember the exact price of this but I'm fairly sure that it's under £4 so that's great value um, and again this is one of those products that I was pleasantly surprised with it's just it's so good it's really moisturizing has a really nice smell kind of um, very sweet okay next is my um, Topshop polishes so I have three that I bought in a pack for £14 um, at Topshop when I was in London and I've got, um, it comes with Cherry Picker, which is like a plummy red colour, which is the one I'm wearing at the moment. Um, Chiffon, which is a baby pink, and Cracker, which is just like a nice bright red. And um, th these, all three of these are shimmery, but you can also get um, ones that aren't shimmery. So, um, yeah, I've only opened actually this one. I'm saving these two again. And also I'm actually sending one to my friend Mary. So Mary, if you're watching, let me know whether you want red or pink. Um, yeah, so the one I've opened is, what was it called, Cherry Picker, and that's the one I'm wearing at the moment. Love the packaging, they're so cute, they've got like the little spots, oh you guys can't see. Um, I'll be including pictures on my blog, so I'll have a link to that in the description box and there'll be like pictures of each of the, each of the products on their own. These again are quite pigmented, um, more than the MAC L'Oreal and the Astralis, um, maybe not as pigmented as the sleek tinted lip conditioner though, but um, yeah, still as you can see, quite good colour payoff. Um, moisturizing and yeah I just I really like these okay next up is the Inglot lip paint I've got mine in the color um, 59 this one's just a really pretty lilac violet color um, wearing it on my lips um, these again have quite good color payoff um, I'm not wearing too much but I could definitely build it up to be very pigmented such as the sleek pout polishes but um, yeah, I really, really like this product. I can't tell you guys the price though because I don't know how much they cost in Australia and they just kind of vary everywhere you go. Yeah, you'll just have to check online and hopefully be able to find the prices of how much they cost where you live. But yeah, I really like these. They come with uh, 4.5 grams of product. Um, it's got, I will say though, that it does have quite a strong, um, a really sweet smell. I can't place what it, that smell is though, but it's definitely really sweet. It doesn't bother me, but I can see it bothering quite a few other people. Um, so if you're going to buy it, I definitely recommend first smelling it in store. But I really like this product. Um, it's moisturizing kind of. It lasts a decent amount of time. Okay, and so my last product is my lip jam by Sports Girl. And um, okay, I'm not even wearing this product because I just hate it that much. Um, uh, it was $5.95 from Sports Girl. I got it in the shade Peach, which is like a just a nice peachy color. Now, the product itself is fine. It's really, really cute packaging. Comes in a little jar. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like nice kind of butterfly details there. Um, pretty color, quite moisturizing, kind of thick on the lips, but not too thick. But the problem with this product is the smell. It's just got such an artificial smell to it. It's just so plasticky smelling that it actually made me want to gag. So I mean, the idea of this, perfect execution, terrible. I just, I can't stand the smell. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I'm going to have a lot more information in the description box. If you're curious, if you have any questions, let me know.